Hey everybody, Courtney here and welcome to another XBMC tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you're watching in HD and full screen. I don't record in HD just so you guys can watch it on a teeny little screen in terrible quality. So make sure you're doing that, it's going to make things a lot easier. Now in this video we're going to be talking about the main menu, the appearance of the main menu in Aeon MQ5. And again I'm running Gotham. So we're just going to head into the settings. And then you're going to click on appearance. And then you're going to head over here, make sure you're in A on MQ5, and go down to settings. Alright, so we're going to talk about three things for the main menu. This will change the appearance of the main menu. We're going to talk about main menu, widgets, and furniture. Before we go into the main menu part and setting up the customizing the main menu, we're going to talk about the widgets real fast. So all these are just going to change, you know, things that pop up above the menu whenever you're looking at it. Um, you can have settings show. I don't, I don't really like widgets, so I don't normally have any of these set up but you can have these these are all your main menu widgets so check all those if you want them uh, do whatever you'd wish with that and then we're gonna go down to furniture furniture is gonna be pretty much how your widgets display things like that it's kinda cool you can change it to be here or down here um, I like mine to be in the middle of the screen kinda reminds me of just you know the plain old um, you know the older themes where it just is based off of confluence so I'm gonna be using it like that alright and then we're just gonna go back up and you can change um, also where this one goes you can change it like that so you can have this down here and you know this way up here but I like mine to be all together so we're gonna go up to the main menu now and talk about main menu options so you can go and click on all of these different things here. This will show different stuff on the main menu, kind of like um, widgets and things like that. And then within the menus, it changes stuff. So just play around with the options here until you get it to how you like it. Um, next thing we're going to talk about is customizing the main menu. Now, smart, um, forgot to mention, show smart submenu. These are going to make the submenus for you if you check that. It will pretty much create them for you so you don't have to do it. Um, I don't like using this because it doesn't add everything that I want. So we're going to go down to customize main menu for the third time I've said that probably. Alright, so here they make things really easy with how to set this up. So we're just going to go down to one that I don't use because I don't want to change the ones that I am using. Um, actually, first I forgot to mention presets. Um, these are pretty cool. You can preset a menu. I don't have any made. Um, I used to use these but now I don't. Um, I should have probably created one for this, but you can create a preset menu and you can change them out. Like say you have a menu that you have for your kids to use, um, so you can use that menu. And then whenever you're using it, you can change it to yours. And what's cool is you can um, set up the presets to be on the main menu. I'll show you guys that in just a second. So you can click on it and it'll automatically change to that menu for you. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but anyways, we're going to go down here to change user, and I'll show you guys how to change stuff up since I don't use this one. Alright, we're going to click over to the right, and it'll take you into this little menu here. Alright, if you click on show, it's obviously going to show in the menu. If you unclick it, it's going to not show. Um, you can replace the item with, this is what you pick for that menu item. So you can go over here and pick whatever you'd like. Um, there's lots of options here, several different things you can choose from, like program add-ons, video add-ons. You can choose video nodes if you want to. Just go through this list and find the things that you want. Um, where is that preset menu item thing? I know it's on here somewhere. Mm, I know it used to be on here. Ah, main menu presets. Yeah, here it is. You can change them from here, which is pretty cool. Alright, so you just click on whatever you would like for it to be. Right now I have mine at change users, so whenever I click on it, it takes me to the change user screen. It logs you out and all that stuff. But you can pick whatever you'd wish here. Uh, if you want to go to a certain video node, you can click on um, video node here. Uh, right here and it'll take you to a certain one that you want to go to you can go to a video add-on program add-on all that kind of stuff so moving on going down to cloning sub menu if you have a menu that you like um, for another you know option here you can select that so say I wanted to clone my movies um, menu I would just click that and it would make the change user menu the same as the movies menu which uh, that's I don't I don't know how anybody would really use that feature. I haven't used it just because 
I can't think of a way why I would want to clone one of my menus to look like the other because why would you want the same options and the same thing? But I don't know. If you guys use that, tell me how you use it down below. All right, copy uh, properties to storage, apply properties from storage. Um, you can basically, you know, um, apply different settings to it that you have saved already, I believe is what that's for. You can rename um, the menu items here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Change the backdrop. So this will be the background behind that certain option on the menu. Um, you can also set it up to have multiple images if you want to do this. What I would recommend you doing is making a folder on your computer where your images are going to be stored and call it change user and that will be all the images for that um, screen and then you're going to want to put all the images for the change user um, part of the menu into that and then you're just going to select it from the list so it'll take you into here and then you go and find the um, change user you know um, folder and then you can restore the default backdrop now going into the sub menu you click over to the left and then it'll take you into the sub menu and you have all of these options here you do the same thing for the sub menu as you would for the rest of the regular menu just go to replace this menu item with and it will put it there for you that's pretty much it for um, for the menu guys uh, widgets furniture all that stuff if you guys have any questions please post them down below sorry this video was a little bit long but there's a lot of stuff going on on um, Aon MQ5 I really like it because you get a lot of customization options um, also if you guys want to change the background more in depth or change it for any skin please go check out my um, changing with files um, video and it will teach you how to change pretty much any um, background within a skin that you would like uh, but make sure you press the like button down below guys comment if you have any questions or you know Tell me what you guys want me to make videos of um, I'm trying to make a video every day So just let me know down below don't forget to hit subscribe for more and I will see you guys in another video. Bye